Mark, obviously a, a move from the early prelims all the way up to the pay-per-view main card of a huge event. I mean, does that, does that add anything to it for you? How about that? How about that? I mean, it's incredible. What an opportunity. So I'm excited. I wondered if it changed anything. Like, everything seems so scientific with your guys' approach to how you do things. Does it change, like, your schedule? I mean, it's a couple hours difference, right? But did you guys have to institute any changes because of the move of the fight time? Well, I'm a couple of days away of stepping up into the octagon and kicking another man's ass. So, I mean, that doesn't change anything. I mean, the task is still the same thing. The only thing we changed a little bit is what time we're doing the workout. Pretty much it. But uh, pretty big, big step up. I just found out, like... In the morning, early morning, I was like, what do you mean? So, but it's a, it's a pretty, pretty big thing. So I'm excited to be on the, the main card. On the other hand, you know, it was, it was a perfect fit being on the early prelims. That would have been a eight, 1, 1 a.m. Um, television show back in Denmark. So I'm, I'm a bit sad for the Danish fans, you know, but I'm going to have to be on a, on a European fight card soon so, so the Danish fan can, can watch me fight. I think it's cool to see your reaction to it because I wondered, like, as a multiple-time Olympian, did, like, big moments seem bigger? Is it just like, that's ah, all the same for me at this point? But it feels like it's, it's not the same. You do recognize that this is a special moment? Absolutely. I, I believe in, in, in staying in the moment, enjoying the moment, and really appreciate all the things that are happening as they happen. You know, it's – I don't take anything for granted. Not one thing, especially given the – the year we just went through as a family with the disease and house and everything. I mean, I do try to be grateful and appreciative for everything that happens. Um, and I believe there's a reason for everything that happens. So I'm just enjo enjoying the journey. And what a journey it's been so far. I talked to you before the fight, and you were pretty complimentary events. You know, you're like, I think we're the two strongest guys in the division. And he 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 saw that on social media. He's like, that guy's not even anywhere close to me. I guess. What did you make of that? Because you were kind of complimenting him, and he says, "Man, you're not even close to me in strength." <laughs> well, we can go to the gym any given day. I will outwork him, outlift him, outperform him every given day of the week. I'm a three-time Olympian, Olympic medalist, five-time world medalist. Listen, you go anywhere in the world, you ask a wrestler if they know Marco Madsen, if they know what I do, my strength, they'll tell you. So, I mean, I know he's a, he's a strong fighter in the UFC division, but you got to keep in mind that I've been wrestling the best in the world, in the toughest sport out there, wrestling my entire life. So... <laughs> I'm confident about my own strength. He's a pretty intense guy, so I'm curious. Have you crossed past them all to like kind of get a feel for him at all this, this week? No, but uh, I will on Saturday. Very nice. Last thing for me, I mean, you touched on it, uh, the fighting in Europe. Is that the goal next? I mean, do you, it sounds like the, the UFC wants to go back to Europe this year after the great London show. So would your next fight, would you want it to be on a European card, or are you kind of just open to whatever makes sense? I would love to be on a European card. Uh, I mean, my first uh, debut in the UFC was Royal Copenhagen, Denmark. I mean, people are still talking about that event. Massive event, such a successful event, you know. Ideally, I would love to go back to Denmark <laughs> and fight um, at a UFC event, but I'll take a European fight card. That would be, that would be very nice. Uh, but let me be honest, I mean, fighting in the United States... Hey, that's amazing. Mark, over here. Between your last fight with Clay Guida and now this fight with Vince Pichel, I feel like you're being booked in sort of these grueling dog fights. How much did you learn from that fight against Clay, and how much more do you feel you'll learn from this fight on Saturday? I think I'm learning a lot in every fight. Um, I've been in sports my entire life, so... I know how to perform. I know how to prepare. Uh, I did wrestling my, you know, my entire life, and I've been doing MMA now for since 2018 on a on a full basis. I recently just moved from Denmark to Arizona. Phoenix joined Fight Ready. I think that's really where my focus is. You know, getting better every single day, surrounding myself with people on the same path, 
having a great team, having great coaches, having guys like Henry Cejudo around me that I can, can ask for advice and stuff. So I'm learning. I'm learning and, uh, as, as I'm going. I know it's a steep, steep learning curve. I know Clay Guido was a big step up. I know Vince Pacelli is a big step up. But listen, I joined the UFC to compete with the best in the world. That's why I'm here. I have an ultimate goal of winning the UFC world title one day. So, man, I got to I gotta learn fast. You, you talked about going to Arizona and, and being at Fight Ready. And I'm, I'm wondering what the vibe is like there right now because Davis and Figueroa just won the flyweight title. Korean Zombie is about to fight for the featherweight title. John Jones has been coming through there. Yuri Prohashka has been coming through there getting ready for his title fight. What has the vibe been like at Fight Ready over these last several months? Amazing. Amazing vibes at, at Fight Ready. And I think it's a really, really good place to develop. Um, see a guy like John Jones, he's already top of the top, considered the GOAT by many. Um, still coming to, to fight ready with a, an ambition of developing. I mean, I, I think that's what it's about, you know, being an athlete, being a champion. It's, it's about being the best in the world, but still finding ways to become even better. I mean, even the small things. So I found a home in, uh, in fight ready, uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, and it's a place where I feel like I'm developing and the vibes are incredible. I have, you know, great colleagues, Great coaches. I think you can expect great things coming out of Scottsdale in uh, in the future. And then, last thing, you just spoke with John about the elevation to the main card and what that means to you. To me, being the first fight on the main card is is a very important spot because you're in there to sort of set the table for the rest of the card. And I feel like this matchup and the sort of the dogfight element to it is the reason why this is the first fight on the main card. Do you feel the same way? Do you feel like that's the expectation that the UFC has not only for you, but for this fight itself? Nope. I don't. <laughs> I'm here to perform. I'm here to, uh, to be honest, to kick, kick his ass. And, hey, I'm here to win. Hey, getting a quick finish is a good thing to kick off the card too, right? Well, let's go. Let's go get it. Thanks, Mark. Real quick, uh, how long have you been in Arizona? I came over January 9th, so when I'm fighting, it's going to be three months in total. So you haven't experienced our summers yet? <laughs> well, I did. I actually had the same. I had a, uh, my, my, my fight camp leading up to the Clay Guido fight was in uh, Arizona as well. Pretty awful, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm from the north, right? I'm from where the Vikings originate. It's cold up there, and once you experience cold... Heat is nice, so they might they might put me in a sauna. I'll still be good. What, what drew you to fight ready? Was that? Yep. What drew you to fight ready? What drew me to, to fight ready? To be honest, the captain, Eric, um, the coach, actually drew me to uh, to fight ready. I came over in my preparation to the Clay Guida fight. Um, I flew to Vegas. I'd done two, two fight camps in Vegas. I was looking for a gym. Um, I was looking at different gyms, and I landed Sunday. I was having jet lag. 3.30, the captain calls me. He just finished a, a big fight. He says, hey, Mark, uh, can I come over and cup, have a cup of coffee? I'm lying there with, you know, with jet lag, so I say, hey, sure. So 4 a.m., I have a morning meeting with the, the captain, with the coach. Um, and he goes, hey, Mark, we know each other from, from the OTC in Colorado Springs from, from the wrestling days. And he goes, hey, Mark, I know you're looking for a, a gym. I know there are a lot of good gyms out there, but I think you should do yourself a favor and you know, come down to Scottsdale, Arizona, look at Fight Ready, look what we have going on, and before you make up your mind and... Um, took me four days. It took me four days. Then I got a car. I rented a car. I went from Vegas down to, to Fight Ready. And I actually got to experience the camp they did for the Korean zombie uh, leading up to his last fight. And that just made, made up my mind. 
I mean, the way they are running the fight camps down there is something that resembles the process I know from the Olympics. So I was sold. Learning a lot of uh, technique, but have you picked up any fashion tips uh, from Albarracin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. He actually bought me some Viking equipment. Um, he's a big fan of the show Vikings, and naturally, being from Denmark, from where the the Vikings originated, that's a that's a thing that he likes. So, but I think I'm sticking with the Olympian. He's calling me the blood axe, though. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely some some tips uh, to be gained from from the captain. Thank you, Mark. I know things are pretty congested during fight week, busy, crazy schedule. But do you get a chance to get out and see the community, to see the area? How many times you've been to Florida, and will you get a chance to get out and see Jacksonville while you're here? I won't get a chance to get out and see Jacksonville this time. Uh, I would love to come back and see Jacksonville. Um, whenever I go out to perform, that's that's what I do. I stay focused. I stay stay on top of the things that I need to accomplish. I will say, my dad just arrived uh, like 15 minutes ago. I just met him in the hall here. I don't know how he got from the airport and then found the third floor. I actually asked him, how do you get up here? And he's like, it's fake. It's the first MMA event that he's going to attend. Um, he's going to go do a lot of sightseeing, I know. But just having him here and to, to experience this you know, UFC event together, that's going to be a big thing. We used to travel a lot in, in wrestling, been to European Championship, World Championship, Olympic Games. So I hope he's going to have an amazing time down here. I would love to go see, uh, you know, see the area. I've never been to Florida before. No, it's a, a, a great place, a nice place, but uh, at the end of the day, I, I'm here to do a job, and it's it's all focused on Saturday. Thank you so much.